Hi folks. I wonder if you can guess where I am. Can you guess where I am? I'm in Tate Britain. <clears throat> yeah, of course, it's on the way on, so... So anyway, I stopped off. Uh, because... Uh, when I was... Uh, when I was talking about Vincent in the last video, when I had that little moment where it was just really interesting actually, like I said. And uh, anyway, as I'm walking along, and well, you, know, you saw it in the video, you saw what I said. So, anyway, the thing is that I was just checking up on the house and stuff. Hmm. I don't think we can go through this way. Hmm. I don't know if we can go through there. It's all blocked off for some reason. Hmm. Very odd. Oh well. Okay, apparently we can't go that way. For now at least. I don't know though though, because like, there's another part of the exhibition over that side as you can see through that little window there. Um, I really like this space. There's something about this space. These stairs and these blocks of colour on the wall. Uh, I really like it. Um, I've taken a ton of photographs of it. And these these railings on this and these stairs. I've taken a ton of photographs of them. Again, it all relates to the shape, shape and form. Like I said to you, everything about pattern, shape and form. Uh, so, but uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, Pattern, shape, of form. <laughs> uh, it's just I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, and of course that's you know this this space. I really like this space. I don't know why I like these blocks of colour. I mean, if you stuck them on a piece of canvas, I would sort of like say, wow. Do you know what I mean? Really? Do you know what I mean? But because they're on the wall and they're in such a big space, uh, and you know, I don't know. I just really like it. I don't know why. I just do. I always have done. Mm. It's been like this for a little while, actually. Um, but anyway, anywho, um, yeah. Let me go and see if I find where the um, Vincent Bank. Uh, what's it? It's on until next year, anyway. So, so uh, I want to go and check it. Right. Catch you momentarily. Bye for now. And of course, this is another favourite bit of mine. Uh, this staircase, I love this staircase. And of course, again, I've taken tons of photographs of this staircase and all, and filmed it as well. But I love this staircase. I love spiral staircases. It's so cool. Oh, I'm exhausted, folks. The uh, weather is weird. I'm really struggling to breathe right now, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, my back is killing me. It's aching like I won't, you won't believe. And I'm telling you, I know this is the same, and I know obviously the answers and everything, blah, blah, blah. But I'm telling you, it is my lung. I know it is. I know that's where the pain's coming from. See, look, they've got it all, uh, what's the name? Like, I guess maybe because they're obviously they're doing something uh, they're perhaps installing a new exhibition or something I guess because I was going to go in this way but <sighs> there must be another way around to the galleries that are on that side there has to be they won't just like close off the whole section if they're just dealing with this little bit which presumably they are this is another space I love this actually this gallery I do like this gallery um, just some of the subjects matter doesn't necessarily always appeal to me. I'll have a little look round actually. Uh, I suspect Van Gogh exhibition is that way, but I could be wrong. But I want to go this way first. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, wait, one second. Let me just check something. No, that's not the thing I was thinking of. There's a thing down there, I think it's on that side actually. But obviously because of the what they're doing in there you can't get to it that way. Anyway, so um, yeah, right. 
Uh, because my arms ache and my bag's making my shoulder ache, uh, I'm going to put the selfie stick on because it's just easier. Right, I'll catch you guys momentarily. Bye for now. And that's, uh, like I said, I do I actually love this building actually. I love that perspective. Look at that perspective. Obviously the people kind of get in the way and kind of spoil the uh, overall perspective effect, but I love the way all those different doorways sort of diminish down further and further as they go further down and you've got that green marble. Love it, absolutely love it. Right, okay. So, um, I definitely want to go and have a nosy at the, um, what's the name in a bit, uh, see where the Van Gogh exhibition is. Because at, at some point, it's 22 quid though, it said online, 22 quid. But, you know, uh, it's my favourite artist and uh, it's all about him being in Brixton, uh, apparently. Because uh, like I said, I was checking in online and uh, Anyway, look at that big clock, by the way. Huge big clock on the wall. <laughs> that isn't the right time, by the way. Just to let you know. Uh, that is definitely not the right time. Uh, in fact, actually, I've just realised all the numbers are all mixed up anyway. And there's no number 12. Huh? Oh, yeah. There isn't even a 12 there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, like, massive big clock. I like big clocks. <laughs> I've got one in my house, haven't I? It's one of the biggest clocks I can think I can get at the moment. Um, yeah, uh, I'm talking about umpteen different things all at the same time here. So basically, um, it's 22 quid, uh, and the exhibition is all about him living in Brixton, apparently. And I was checking it out because, uh, like I say, I was just checking out the house, and I wanted to see what the latest news was about the house, and do you know what I mean? And this guy who owns it, I think he's a Chinese violinist. Uh, and he bought it and he had this lovely quote actually that I read in the article about him uh, and there was this lovely quote and he said basically he turned around and said um, that I can't afford one of Van Gogh's paintings but I can certainly afford his house <laughs> which I thought was awesome that's so funny and so true at the same time you know what I mean it's like he said I can afford I can't afford one of I can't afford um, I can't afford buying one of Vincent van Gogh's paintings, but I could certainly buy, uh, afford to buy his house. There's a uh, half a million, apparently, that house sold for, he bought it for. 500 and odd thousand, whatever it was, so half a mil. Um, so, or just over half a million. Um, so, you know, and he now owns it and he's going to turn it into residence for artists. Uh, so, that is so cool. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, flipping heck. Uh, so I want to see the exhibition because I'd love to just because like it's got some of his paintings in there and stuff obviously and blah 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 and whatever you sort of thing so I, I'm so looking forward to doing that um, but of course it's 22 quid so it's not cheap do you know what I mean I'm not, there's a dude doing some art man cool how cool is this nice awesome artists knocking about actually. Let's go and have a little nosy, see what they're doing. I love when they do the hands-on thing, when you can do your own thing. It's really cool.
interesting. Yeah, so some of the subject matter and some of the galleries in here, obviously I'm sorry, but I just find really, really boring, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, and you're allowed to feel about art the way you want to feel about it. It's entirely up to you, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, people can disagree, of course, do you know what I mean? And that's perfectly fine as well. But, you know, I'm sorry, but they might be well painted. And don't, and don't get me wrong, there are some that I do like. There are some that I really, really do like and think, wow, that is amazing. Uh, a lot of these, I'm sorry, they don't do a heck of a lot for me. You know, I'm not saying they're not, you know, they're rubbish paintings or, or, or anything like that. Far from it, do you know what I mean? Far, far from it. Obviously, it's very talented artists, there's no two ways about it, but it's the subject matter and the style and just the overall emotional impact that they have on me just leaves me flat and cold and it's kind of like, yeah, and, do you know what I mean? I mean, from a technical point of view, like I said, don't get me wrong, from a technical point of view, I mean, look at the way that dress is painted, do you know what I mean? I mean, like I said, technically, yeah, I'm mega impressed, technically, do you know what I mean? And think like, wow, how did you create that, and how did you get that to look like that, and, do you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong about that. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you know, to create these folds in the dress and to create that silky look of the dress and so forth and all the rest of it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, technically, I think, wow, do you know what I mean? Really, really amazing and what's the But the overall painting is kind of like, yeah, sorry. I'd rather just go to sleep. <laughs> sorry, but you know but like I said you know there are some paintings in this gallery that I really love and think wow that's so awesome do you know what I mean but uh, yeah and of course we've got also you've got uh, like um, parts of the gallery that's got newer artwork, you know what I mean, more contemporary uh, artwork sort of thing uh, and you know th those uh, parts I really really enjoy as well um, I'm just trying to think out where this uh, where are we going? I'm losing track of myself wait, let me just go this way a second I thought this is where we came out before actually yeah so we want to go back this way then. Okay. So tired right now. And it comes on me like in waves, you know what I mean? I mean overall I'm pretty tired anyway, but flipping it. I feel exhausted right now. Right, so I've doubled back on myself essentially. Uh so okay. Um, I'm going to try and find the Vincent thing because we've walked through here already so anyway, so I'll leave it there for now and I'll catch you guys later Bye for now So, that's quite a famous painting uh, That's by Davy Hockney um, Yorkshireman Yay, Yorkshireman From Bradford I believe I think that's where he lived. I think. But don't quote me on it because I might be wrong. Oh <coughs> <coughs> uh, boy. I can't seem to find this flipping um, what's name at the moment. The um, Vincent van Gogh exhibition. Hmm. It's definitely in this museum, I know it is. I just. Where the heck is it? over here a minute. So, let's have a look. <coughs> oh, you see, this is all the same, look. I filmed this not long ago, well, say not long ago, about a year ago, in fact. 
This has been sat here for a year. It might have changed slightly over time, I don't know. It might be slightly different, I'm not entirely sure, but... Yeah, I filmed this over a year ago, man. Oh, by the way, I notice as well sometimes when I'm filming with the selfie stick and I turn the camera around and I have always got the screen then facing me. And sometimes I noticed when I was talking about that water fountain the other day, uh, yesterday when I was walking through, and you only saw the bottom of it. Because I had no idea I wasn't pointing all the way up to the top of the fountain. So, apologies for that. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, I need to go and find... I need to go and find this for being what I say, man, because this, this, this is all old stuff, this. This has been around for a little while. Oscar Wilde. Right, um, I'll leave it there for a minute. I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Right, hi folks. So, this is the Turner Gallery, um, and there he is himself. Uh, Mr. Turner. Uh, so that's the guy that was an impressionist. Uh, yeah, Joseph Millard William Turner, uh, outstanding British painter of his generation and mastery of history painting landscape and marine. He broke convention with modern subjects unique at the time. For many years, a leading exhibitor at the Royal Academy he also showed work at his own gallery open, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Um, Turner made his name with watercolours of topographical and architectural subjects. Uh, can't read that what? In, in, in what? By atmospheric effects that he also portrayed in his oil paintings, blah 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 blah. <coughs> So, like I say, uh, essentially an, impression, an impressionist, what they call an impressionist. Um, and like it kind of says there, he, he was like a bit of a radical in his own time, do you know what I mean? And so his work would have been considered quite, um, you know, uh, uh, out of the mainstream, I guess. What I was trying to get to. Um, and like I say, he's obviously quite well known, quite famous uh, artist. The fighting. What was it called again? The fighting something. I mean, this is impressionist, look. And I do like some impressionist stuff, actually. I do. Uh, impressionist painting is quite. There is something about it. Um, but I'm not a massive fan of impressionist, necessarily. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, cool. Uh, so, I've just been told I can't film, uh, but apparently I can, but then again I can't. So, catch you guys later. Bye for now. Okay, folks, so, yeah, uh, this is some contemporary sort of art stuff. Um, yeah, uh, obviously you'll be aware of the fact that as I was just filming in the Turner, uh, Turner Gallery there, um, I got told I couldn't film and yet I've been filming all over the gallery uh, and you know you'll even see there's no two ways about it that you'll see the security dudes pass me in every other part of this gallery every single flipping gallery I've been into staff, security people have walked past me and I've been filming and chances are they've been in the background as I've been passing by I'll check it later anyway, just to doubly check. So you don't have to necessarily take my word for it, but I'm telling you, there was tons of uh, staff, tons of security people uh, walked past me, right next to me, walked past me. I'm doing this, I'm vlogging, do you know what I mean? Uh, didn't say a word. As soon as I walk into the Turner Gallery, all of a sudden, excuse me sir, you're not allowed to film in here, blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking, really? Is that so? Then how come I can film in every other part of the gallery apart from here? You know, what, what the heck is that? Do you know what I mean? Sorry, I get annoyed with things like that, I do. It just really annoys me, you know? Don't give me double standards. Don't give me flipping, you can do this but you can't do that, and blah, 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 blah. Do you know what I mean? 
just really, really annoys me. Look, Francis Bacon. That's some of Francis Bacon, one of our uh, 20th century uh, prolific uh, artists. I don't really, I'm not really keen on his work necessarily. He's an interesting character, though. Interesting person, nonetheless. But and they did make a film about him and about his life. Um, but an interesting character. But I'm not a big fan of his art necessarily. To be perfectly honest, maybe you can kind of agree on that one, as you can see behind me. I'm not a big fan of his art. Um, but nonetheless, he is again quite, quite well known and what have you. That one apparently is a. I've seen that online actually. In fact, I even think I've used that picture in something. Now that I look at this again, um, but it's a bomb falling on water. In fact, I have used that painting. It was on a picture. It was online, and I used it for something in a video. I've just realised that. But it's an actual. There's the actual painting itself. Oh, that's really interesting. I never even noticed that until just now. That is super, super interesting. Wow, look, it's a bomb falling into water. 1942, oil on canvas. Um, and, yeah, that's really interesting. Because, like I say, I downloaded that picture and used it in a video. I uh, can't remember which video I used it in, but, yeah. <laughs> and there it is, sat on, there's the original sat on the wall. Um, but, yeah, uh, you know, that, that just really, really annoyed me. It really did. You know, it's still annoying me, to be quite honest. You know, and it's funny because that's happened before. You know, it has happened before in this gallery where as soon as I go in the Turner Gallery, oh, excuse me, sir, you're not allowed to film. Do you know what I mean? Why specifically there? Do you know what I mean? And I'm thinking to myself, what is he? Is he considered like royalty of the flipping art world or something? You dare say anything against Turner? Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh wow, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Sorry, wow, look at that. That is so pretty. Wow. Oh, that is so nice. I love it. Wow. Hang on. Let's zoom in. Oh, that is nice. I like that. That is so cool. Wow. And now out into the miserable weather. Really pleasantly enjoyed myself in there just then, apart from those security dudes. Like I said, put a uniform on some people and they think they're God. You know, flipping heck. Sorry, I, I say, that's really annoying, man. That's so annoying. I've filmed in there uh, uh, loads of times. And I've never had anybody say anything, well, apart from when, like I say, when I go into the Turner exhibition. It's the only time anybody says anything. And that's a permanent exhibition, by the way. Um, and, you know, I even had that issue like I did at the Tate, Bro uh, Tate Modern. Um, and when I talked to them, and I talked to the guy, and what have you, and funny enough, not long after that, I can't remember how long after that, and again, there's a video, you'll see the video. Um, and there's a lady security dude person, lady dude person, um, that comes into, it's when I was downstairs in that little round room bit. You, again, you must have seen that videos where I've done that. And as I'm either going into it or coming out of it, I can't quite remember. And 
she's approaching me and I think I say in the video, I'm almost certain I say in the video, oh I'm going to have to stop here, I think I'm going to be asked to stop filming or something or, or something on those lines anyway. Um, and uh, anyway, uh, I can't remember if I actually stopped filming at that moment and whether I caught her talking on it or not, I can't remember. Uh, so I either stopped filming and then spoke to her or I spoke to her whilst I was still filming, I can't quite remember. Um, but anyway, the thing is, the upshot of it was, is that basically she just wanted to say hello because she remembered me from the Tate Modern. And she was saying, oh, hello, how are you? And, oh, no, it's okay, carry on filming. No, no, it's fine. Uh, you know, we're more than happy for you to film. Blah, 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 blah. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, I, because I, that's why it surprised me. That's why I was like, wow. This is, and I'm sure I mentioned it in the video. And either, either I was still recording when she was tell, saying all that, or I say it afterwards, after, you know, I stopped filming, and then afterwards I explain to you guys what she said to me. Um, but she did, she turned around and she said like, uh, oh no, it's fine, you know, no problem, I just remember you from the tape, uh, uh, modern, and, you know, blah, 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 and how are you doing, and this, that, and it's nice to see you here, and blah, 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 do you know what I mean? And so I'm thinking, wow, that's really nice, you know what I mean? It's like, flipping heck. So, you know, this is what gets me, this, this double standard, this flipping, one person saying one thing, somebody else saying something else, you know what I mean? I hate this unclarity stuff. Either you turn around to me and say 100% no you can't film period yeah or you say yes it's fine no problem at all don't I don't like this ambiguity do you know what I mean I really don't yay or nay at least then I know where I stand do you know what I mean you can see it's annoyed me I was going to explain a bit about Turner to you guys I was going to say about you know what my feelings and thoughts are on the impressionist style and I was going to try and find the fighting tem what the heck is that ship called? It's a famous painting of Turner's it's called the fighting something it's a warship uh, and it's an impressionist painting of this warship in battle um, and uh, like I say it's quite a famous iconic painting I think it's in there I'm sure it is um, and I was going to show it you guys and I was going to talk about it and what have you blah 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 um, and that, like I said, that's just so flipping annoying. It's like, do you know what I mean? It's like flipping egg. You know? It's just so goddamn annoying. You know, I can't, I can't be doing with this double standard stuff, man. I can't be doing with it. You know? Anyway, sorry. You see, you see how some things just do rattle my cage at times, you know what I mean? Right, okay folks, so, yep, yeah, uh, kind of heading back onto the number two bus route, essentially. Um, I need to get home. I've got a ton of footage today, actually, interestingly, now that I'm thinking about it. Because I filmed this morning, and now I'm filming on my way home. I think I'm getting back into it again. See, I had this hiatus for a little while, and uh, because I was so bothered about getting back in time, and oh, look, here we go again with the light. Dark clouds all around us, rain now starting. Traffic preventing me from getting to the other side of the road. Crying out loud, man. I don't want my camera getting too wet, you see. I don't mind a little bit, but. Right, wait, I'm going for it. Knock me over then. Fine. Do you know what I mean? You're on camera knocking me over. Might be found footage, but you'll be on camera knocking me over. He wasn't even going to stop then. Do you know what? Oh boy. That's a couple of times that's happened on that road actually, funny enough. You know, I'm just trying to get across the road, man. I can be across the road really, really quick. It's not gonna it's gonna take milliseconds, milliseconds off your time. Do you know what I mean? Literally. Do you know what I mean? You're in a car, you can easily make that time up. Do you know what I mean? Oh boy. 
<laughs> Grumpy Grandpa. <laughs> oh man, I am definitely turning into Grumpy Grandpa, aren't I? Now, wasn't there a, an old guy from America or something? He, he got quite well known for a little while on YouTube, and sadly he passed away uh, in the last couple of years. Am I going to end up replacing him? Not intentionally, necessarily. Flipping neck. Oh boy. It is because I'm super, super tired, guys. It's like, you know. Anyway, anyway. I don't want to stick in what's name because. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. So. Uh, it's getting heavier now, the rain. So I'm going to have to stop filming because I don't want to ruin my camera. So for now, I'm just going to have to leave it there and hopefully if it stops in a minute or two, or whatever, I'll do something else later. Bye for now. Hi folks. So, we're at Vauxhall and these are these uh, green glassed modern apartments that you see in some of my videos when I'm crossing the bridge. Uh, there's a whole complex of these things, they've been here for a few years now anyway. And we have a prep, right there. Uh, but it's usually, uh, it's the one that Monica works at, like I said. Um, you know that girl I told you about, Monica? The one that uh, pronounced my name in a funny way, or an interesting way, whatever. And, uh, yeah. Um, so I just stopped off here for a minute or two just to uh, just to have a fag really more than anything. Uh, yeah, there's Vauxhall bus uh, bus station, and of course the tube station and the railway station is there. So you got all three: bus station, tube station, and railway station, all in one there. Well, at least all connected, I should say, really, essentially. Uh, as you can see, it's raining heavier now. Uh, so, either way, I'm going, going to get wet. Oh uh, boy. Oh well, what can you do? I've got to get home. I'm just going to smoke this bag first and then I'm going to head home. Right. Catch you guys later. Bye for now. Hi, folks. So, we're uh, home. You see these two guys here, they're flying a drone. Look at that. You see the drone? Ah. So, I have no idea why they're flying a drone. Yeah. Not sure what these guys are doing. But they've been walking all the way along my road, flying this drone. For some reason, I'm not sure why. Unless they've got a YouTube channel, maybe. Oh, curious. So why are they flying a drone over the houses? Hmm. And like I said, they've been walking all the way down the road flying this drone, man. And I'm thinking, why? Uh, I mean, they could just be testing it out, of course. Do you know what I mean? They could be just testing it out. Just rather puzzled. Hmm. I wonder why. Of course, my suspicious minds say, like, oh, maybe they're casing the place. You know what I mean? Which house looks the easiest? You know what I mean? We'll look back on the footage and then we'll we'll suss out which one looks the less secure. <laughs> I don't know. That's just my suspicious head. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Because why would they do it right in the middle of the public? I mean, seems a bit obvious, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Well, 
this flipping tree man I am gonna just I'm determined to cut this flipping branch off I tell you all right mate what what are you doing just out of curiosity surveys, surveys. yeah yeah cool yeah so they're just surveying the roofs actually they probably need doing and all actually yeah they haven't been done for years so there you go see it's just you know what I mean? That's the thing, you just ask, innit? You know what I mean? Rather than just keep speculating, just ask. Mind you, sometimes it's not always easier said than done, really, sometimes. Uh, but yeah, do you know, it's funny because I had a feeling that's what it was, because that's literally what, what it appeared they were doing all the way along, is the roof of the buildings. Do you know what I mean? That's what made me think, like, well, what are they doing exactly? So, yeah. Um, now, I don't think they've just lost the drone or something, because they've just legged it up there, and I didn't see them flying the drone just then, so I'm assuming that yeah. yeah but to get back to this branch I need to get rid of this flipping branch man because this flipping tree is really annoying and this weekend I'm gonna get rid of this because it's really super annoying because uh, like I said I mean the thing is look how low down this is now do you know what I mean I mean look at that man this is ridiculous yeah I have to get rid of that that's too low, man. That's way too low. I've been meaning to do it for the last couple of weekends, but I just keep putting it off, putting it off. But it's that branch there, this one. If we get rid of that branch there, then we get rid of all of that there. So, right. Okay. Like I said, I was just being nosy. I wanted to, wanted to see what those guys were doing, because uh, that's the first time I've actually seen a real-life drone in person. Flying, that is. That's the first time. I've seen them in the shops, I've seen them on videos, I've seen people flying them in videos, but I've never seen the actual thing flying. It's the first time. Right, okay. Catch you guys later. Bye for now.